Ready to roll, mate, or what? Oh, g'day, how are you? Good man, yourself? Yeah, good to meet you. Yeah, you yeah. too, mate. Lenny. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Great. Yeah, thanks heaps for... Yeah, you're right. Fuck riding up there. Good morning, guys. It, um, it's very early. I'm gonna get up soon and um, get at it again. It's 4.30 at the moment, almost five. Um, so today I am tossing up between catching a lift, 336 kilometers to Mackay. Apparently the ride from here to Mackay is not much. The guys that I met yesterday, the bicycle tourers from Belgium uh, suggested that Maybe it's probably better to just uh, get a lift because that's what they did. They got a lift from their couch surf host from Mackay to here, and that same host is heading back uh, this afternoon today. So I sent them a quick message. Um, so we're just gonna wait until they reply and uh, see if it's all right with that guy to take me. And if it is, we'll catch a lift today to Mackay. So no riding, possibly. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the morning here in Rockhampton. But yeah, guys, just waking up here at um, sort of this recreation reserve. Oh, yeah. My first time sleeping out of the tent. I should do this more often, but... I don't know, like the bugs and stuff here in Australia are pretty bad. But it wasn't that bad. Just a few bull ants here and there, but... It's alright, it's all good. And the mozzies, the mozzies are pretty bad too, but it's all good. So yeah guys, um, this is the early morning view. For some reason, this light here that you see... This one right here. This was turned on like half an hour ago and it just shined right in my eyes. It's like a really bright light and I thought it was like a chopper coming over with those real... <laughs> I was tripping out. Anyway, this is the main road. I came up and those three pontoon things going over the water are just out here. But they weren't the best spots just because of the lights. And then this is the tennis courts right here. So the surly is locked up here. Um, but yeah, we did get some rain. Some light rain. Some clouds came over before and uh, just rained on me. And I got pretty wet, so I packed up all my stuff and I moved over to this little rotunda undercovered area here. By the time I set up there and I laid down to probably get 10 minutes shut eye, I woke up again and the bloody sky was clear again. So I'm like, all right, stuff it, I'm moving back over here again. So I did that. I also chucked out my other shorts and my cycling uh, nicks as well. They were getting super nasty. I've been those. So today we're going to have to go to the thrift and we have to find some cycling nicks and shorts as well. Cycling shorts, especially with um, this seat that I have, don't last. They don't have a very good life. They don't have a good life expectancy. They get super black because of this. And I don't know, I think it was just the shorts that I had. They were like the factory brand shorts and they don't breathe at all. And yeah, but um, back at what I was talking about, like in terms of getting a trip and stuff, like, you know, it's all part of the adventure. Like I'm not a purist where I have to ride every single kilometer. It's more about the adventure than it is to just do every single K. I know some people like have to do every K and that that's their mission. But for me, it's more about meeting people and just having those type of experiences more so than, more so than just knocking out the Ks. And also I have an opportunity here where I can potentially get a free lift. So, you know, it's probably best that I just take it, I think. So, just got a text, um, the guys that I met up yesterday at the library, uh, and they got back to me and said uh, that the guy, his name's Lenny, he said, um, just text him and organize um, meeting up, and yeah, so it's looking like we're gonna get a trip to Mackay, North Mackay, leaving about midday today. So, uh, yeah, we're getting a free trip. So we're going to skip 336 k's, some desolate east coast, and um, hopefully I'm not miss missing out on too much. But I guess I'll enjoy the scenes as I as I drive it.
One of the interesting things I uh, discovered yesterday talking to that um, elderly gentleman in the park was that when uh, the people came here to settle in Rockhampton, they actually ran out of money because they had a bit of a gold sort of influx, like there was a little bit of a craze to get here to check out the gold and um, everybody came and spent all their money getting here and there wasn't that much gold to be honest so everybody just stuck around here and that's how Rockhampton became like a sort of a big hub, a big town just people sort of stayed here and it just grew from there it's quite interesting alright guys check this out so I just messaged Lenny he got back to me and um, it's 12.30 he's finishing up with his business work and um, yeah we're gonna meet up and he's gonna take me to Mackay 336 k's from here so it's a bit of skipping once again I said you know it's not about cycling all the time it's more about the adventure so I'm just chilling here at the library we made it back to the library again um, so yeah I'm just gonna chill here at the library for a bit until it maybe opens and stuff um, but yeah we're just waiting playing the waiting game so just riding over the main bridge here in Rockhampton I'm not sure if, I think this is the Rockhampton River I'm not sure but yeah this is why they call it Rockhampton there's uh, heaps of rocks here in the river, but um, yeah, just really interesting to just take a bit of a, a break, just a bit of a stop, and just have a look at all the wildlife in here. They got heaps of um, jellyfish. I'm not sure what type they are. Maybe box jellyfish. Not sure. Um, I've seen heaps of fish, and like really small schools of fish sort of swimming around here as well. Um, so um, just making our way into North Rockhampton. While I'm over this side of town, there's like three op shops all the line of each other that open soon, about half an hour or so. So I'm going to head over to those op shops and um, see if we can find some cycling gear. I see um, heaps of mangoes around here. Yeah, I don't know where they're coming from. There's heaps of them around, just laying around everywhere. I have my own mango, so I don't need to worry about any. <laughs> So we're all set guys, we got some, I think um, Netty, Netty Nix, uh, Pro Line, not the best, but you know, it's got padding, so it's more functional than anything, so paid six bucks for these, but anyway, that's alright, we really need those. I had two pairs there, but I just opted for one, and um, we got some shorts too, some Mambo shorts, so uh, yeah, three three dollars fifty for these, sweet, we're all set. Ready to roll, mate, or what? Oh, g'day, how are you? Good man, yourself? Yeah, good to meet you. Yeah, you yeah. too, mate, Lenny. Yeah. Cheers, yeah, great. Yeah, thanks heaps for... Yeah, you're right. Letting... Fuck riding up there. <laughs> so we're halfway, I guess, on this trip, and we're just riding. It's like I've been in a time machine, just traveling super fast, so it's really awesome that um, he's doing this for me, so it's so good. <laughs> so bloody awesome. Free ride for 330 k's boom we're stopping to fill up here got some chips we're all set it's two door is it yeah yeah two door okay. they only um, this round zx has only come out with two door yep um, the weddings and yeah yeah, yeah so i used to do weddings and that in it so yeah yeah i've, I've actually um seen this kind of so I've, yeah I've, I've, my wife i uh, uh, walk up here and go down on the bottom there's bike room. that's <laughs> So guys, we made it into Mackay, and I've just been running around like a bloody headless chook. I, uh, I um, got dropped off. Lenny dropped me off here in Mackay, just basically at the shopping centre, just over the road there. Um, and then I just did some grocery shopping and I got way too much stuff again, as I always do. I really am liking the idea of getting front panniers. I just have to get them whenever I can get an interest and things like that. Um, and have that for just food, because it's quite a struggle to get everything stuffed into the back panniers there, but I'm trying to work with it. I made it to a uh, local sporting recreation reserve area. I think I'm just going to camp here tonight and just pull up the tent. I don't even pull up the tent, I mean, just lay on the grass wherever I can when it gets dark enough. Um, so yeah, they've got a footy oval here. The sun's setting and it's getting late already. So yeah, just a, a long drive today. It was like four hours plus. I think it was like four and a half hour drive. Um, and it kind of stuffed with me. Um, sitting in the car is probably more tiring than it is pedaling your bike, to be honest. Um, just sitting there. Uh, 
and my mind is just racing like I just in you know a clutter I guess I don't know a bit of a mess because it feels like I've just hopped in a time machine and I've just traveled into the future or some crazy stuff like that so we've already traveled 336 or something kilometers just today it feels ridiculous because I'm so used to covering like one third of that you know so yeah anyway just kind of a bit uh yeah just trying to find my bearings here anyway big shout out to Lenny thank you so much um best bloke ever just bloody top bloke and he offered me some more help if I need it down the road and things like that so yeah Lenny if you're watching this by any chance thanks mate you're a bloody legend thank you but yeah this is a well maintained sporting field look how nice this grass is it's not even on the field and it's nicely cut the footy oval looks nice and they're playing soccer over there tonight there is a river that runs out the back here so pretty much just behind me here, like out the back of the footy oval. So I'm just going to try and stay away from that because there probably will be crocs in there. So any rivers and, and anything like that, just staying clear away from those. So um, it might be, I don't know, there's so many houses around and stuff. So I kind of want to do it stealthy so no one dumps me in, but maybe at the back. But there's a river there. We'll see. There's fences, so I think we should be good. Yeah, we should be good at the back there. Um, yeah guys, I was going to try and make it to a pub tonight, which is about an hour ride. Just got too late, too quick for me. Got in here at about 5 o'clock, and then after doing shopping and getting all that stuff done, saying goodbye to Lenny and all that, ah, uh, yeah, just, just come around quick, it's almost 7, 7 o'clock. And I haven't been eating properly today, just because of the travel and... Like, I scoffed down lunch, and then I haven't eaten since then, and I don't know, I'm just, just a, a whole uh, habit and schedule and everything, like, habit, yeah, I already said habit. It's just been messed up because of uh, traveling by car, it's crazy. 45 plus days of just bike riding and then hopping in a car, it's kind of just sent me a little bit, whoop, whoop. but anyway guys, <laughs> we're getting there eventually. So guys, I just uh, made it out to the back of this footy oval here, right beside this river. Um, there is a fence here though, so it's not too risky. Uh, I think you should be fine with the crocodiles and things. Can't be bothered cooking anything tonight. I'm just totally exhausted. I don't know. Just sitting in a car for four hours just tires the hell out of me. So, anyway guys, I'm gonna just have some Vegemite sandwiches and uh, knock down. Um, I love this stuff. I've been having on, like one of these every night pretty much. Just chocolate soy milks and these fill me up really well too. So I'm just going to knock one of them down and uh, also have maybe three to five Vegemite sandwiches and see how we go. But yeah, it's been um, quite a good day, quite a productive day in terms of kilometres. <laughs> I haven't cycled any but we've covered 336 or whatever which is quite awesome. So I think what I might do, I was wanting to get get on the road, like I was thinking about getting on the road to get to this pub um, from Mackay, Mackay, is it Mackay or Mackay, I don't know. Anyway, I think I might head back into town and just sort of explore a bit because I kind of just went straight through the town and didn't see really anything. So it'd be cool to go back into town and check it out and see what it's all about. This is so cool guys, the airport's just over there and these planes just fly straight over their head. Oh, don't hit me bro! He's coming straight at us. Whoa. Whoa! That is so cool. He was so close then. Uh, anyway guys, thank you for watching. Well, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, give us a thumbs up, comments below, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please subscribe, like 50% of you guys aren't subscribed that watch the videos. So just hit the subscribe button, come on, you can do it. I know you can. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you later, bye. Alright guys, I just got hammered this morning by these freaking sprinklers. Look at this. I was sitting up on that top deck. 
Oh, fuck. And the worst thing is the water must be recycled. It smells like shit.